What is going on, Pro Cutters? John, back with another unboxing. Um, now, I got this a few days ago, I'm going to tell you. Um, so I've had a little bit of a time uh, to play around with it. And as of right now, I'm unsure if I'm keeping it or not. Uh, I am learning a few more things with it. Now, what this is, is the Hoem iSteady X 3 Access Gimbal for large frame smartphones. And it is a compact design. So it's, you know, it's a little bit bigger than my hand. And you open it up and then you tighten this down and then you mount your smartphone in here. Comes with the lanyard, which I've already put on. It also comes with a little tripod. It's got a quarter 20 screw in on the bottom so you can mount it on a bigger tripod. Like I said, it comes with this little mini tripod. And then I'll show you what else you get here. It comes with also a carrying bag for the unit. And it came with a USB charging cord, which is in the house. Um, a quick start guide and a little instruction book also comes with it. Now, you, when you first open it up out of the box, of course, you got to plug it in and charge it up. Um, that first charge, I think it took like a couple hours. Not a huge deal. Uh, and you also need to download the app for your phone. So let me show you the app. It's just the Hoem Pro is the name of the app. Let me actually back this up a minute here. Okay, so it's your Hoem Pro and you open up that app go back to here and it gets, gives you a bunch of tutorial videos on how to use different features and everything and then there's a start recording and then it shows you the screen from your phone and it's got you know face recognition so it does follow me and a few other special things um, like I said I'm still learning how to use it uh, totally so I'm undecided if I'm keeping it or not at this point, but it's got a um, power button here and you hold that down for the three, three lights to come across and it lights up and I'm almost dead right now. But then you, it's got a sticker on it that shows you which direction you need to mount your camera. And actually you've got to, let me shut it back off real quick. Okay, shut it back off and then put your phone in there when it's turned off. And you gotta try and get the dang thing to where it's balanced and then go ahead and turn it back on. And then you can see it picks the phone up to where it needs to go. And then you've got your joystick There it is. So you can spin this thing around. You can tilt it. All right, and then we're gonna go into start recording here. Turn this around to the front. And let me pull the GoPro over here so I can show you what's going on. And you press for the facial recognition and you'll see that green box on there. And then this camera, let me, uh, let me set this up to where you can see that. Okay. So it's got, and you put for video and that's what I want. And so this thing, of course now it's wanting to be an a-hole. It was working fine before. No, I wonder if it's not freaking uh 
Yeah, it's disconnected. Durr. Here we go. Okay, now it's connected. So now the damn thing works. Now you go to start record, turn the camera around to the front, put on the facial recognition. So now you can see it picks me up and the facial recognition on it is killer. That works really good. Um, but the object one was giving me issues the other day. <laughs> I must have just done a uh, hand motion to take a picture. I think it's if you do the little Star Trek sign or something. There it is. If you okay, if you wave in front of it, it'll take a picture. So it, it's really neat. It was only sixty nine dollars. Um, the more I use it and get used to it. Um, the more I think I will keep it, but I did order a Femi Palm too. That'll be coming tomorrow, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting that little gimbal camera. We'll see how that goes, but thanks for watching this quick unboxing. I'll also uh, probably add some footage from this unit to it as well, because, yeah, it's kind of cool. You can uh, zoom in, zoom in and out from the gimbal. And then, like I said, no matter, if you move it too fast, sometimes it'll lose you, but it's, it's pretty damn cool. So I don't know. I may keep it. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.